Alright, welcome to the 6th Python tutorial where we left off working on the inventory and equip system. So let's get started working on the inventory. So we'll make an, a method called inventory. And in it, we'll have options such as viewing the inventory or equipping items from your inventory. But for right now, I'm only going to add a, the equip system. So if option equals one, then we'll take them to another method called equip. And else if option equals B, we'll just take them back to start one. Uh, before we do that, forgot to do this. Option equals raw store input. So now let's make the function for equip. So we'll ask the user what they want to equip. And then we'll list off all the items in their inventory. So the weapons they do have that they're, they'd be able to equip. So for weapon in player ig dot web we'll print weapon and we can also if they don't want to do anything just to go back so then we'll give them input so if option equals the player's current weapon then we're going to say that the weapon's already equipped and they can't equip it. And then we'll just have a pause right here. And then we'll loop back to the beginning of the function. So then elif option equals B, then we'll go back to the inventory. And then LF option is in their weapons inventory, then we're gonna equip that weapon. So player IG dot current weapon will then equal option, so whatever they typed in. And then we could say you have equipped, and then the weapon they chose. Uh, my typing today is absolutely terrible. So then we'll also pause right here too. So then whenever they press enter, it'll go back to equip. And then we'll have an else, if they type in a weapon that they don't have, it will just say they don't have the weapon. 
So we can say you don't have that item in your inventory. So now we can test to see if this works. So I'll run it. We'll start. Alright, see, so we have 40 gold. Let's go to the store. Buy the great sword. The bot great sword. Cool. Go back. Go to inventory. What do you want to do? You want to equip weapon? What do you want to equip? Great sword. And this is cap sensitive moment. You have equipped great sword. Cool. Now let's see if we try to equip it again since we already have it equipped. You already have that weapon equipped. All right. So let's go back. Alright, so now the current weapon we have equipped is Greatsword, and our attack is now 25. And our base attack is 10, so that's an increase in 15, and it didn't keep the extra 5 from the Rusty Sword, because this is the attack uh, function as a property. So one thing we also could do to clean this up is have it clear the screen otherwise everything just becomes like a jumbled mess so now that we have this done we could also do the save system the save and load system because that's something that still needs to be done So if they do three for save, we will clear the screen because there's going to be more stuff showing up. So we'll do with, open, and then the save file for the game, we can just call save file. And then we're going to write to this. And then B is like binary mode. So Windows specifically distinguishes between text files and binary files, and it writes over it in certain ways. Well, you don't you don't really need to worry about it right now. And then we'll do as f, so the file and the script will be known as f. Oh, one thing we also need to do, totally forgot about. We need to import pickle. So this is basically a library that allows you to package and store variable, store objects into like text files and stuff. So it's, it would basically, you, you'll see in a second. If I can find where this is, all right, here we go. We'll do as if, and then we're going to dump the player, all the contents of the player into the file, known as save file. And then after that we can print game has been saved. And then we'll pause it. And go back to start. Let's save that and test to see if we'll create the save file. Game has been saved. And you can see here we have save file, which is empty. One thing I just realized, we need to backspace this. So that way this doesn't run in this with statement. Save that. Delete this. And 
once we run it. Alright, save. Game has been saved. And here we go. So this is the contents of our save file. So it's basically all the different variables we have for the player. So now that we can save it, we need a system in which we can load previous saves. So we can do that in the main menu here. So if we press 2 to load, what do we want to do? Well, if we want to check to see if the save file even exists. So if this equals true, then we'll clear the screen, and then with open save file, and then instead of writing to it, we're going to read from it as f, and then we'll have player ig will equal the contents of the save file. And then we'll print loaded save state. Spelled state wrong. And then we'll we'll clear the screen. And then if the save file does not exist, we can say you have no save file for this game. And we'll pause it. And we'll go back to start one after it's gone through everything. Or go to start one after this is completed. And then after this, we'll just go back to the menu. So let's save this and test this out. So we'll load, loaded save state. Oh, that's right. I need to have this. Be global. Now let's try it. There we go. So I have the name I had in. I had a rusty sword to begin with. Gold tag, everything's the same. So now we have an inventory, an equip system, and a working saving and loading system. So that will conclude this tutorial.